Zoo's Nature Project. Let's grow a cactus. Or a sunflower. How about an ivy? No, an oak tree. <laughs> Hello, you two. What's all this about gardening? We've been given a project to do by our teacher. She says we're to do a nature project. Oh. We've got to have it ready by next week. We want to grow something. So we're trying to decide what. I see. But a week, that doesn't give you very long. An oak tree takes years to grow. There must be something we can grow in a week, even if it only grows a little bit. Hmm. Well, what about cress? It grows quickly, so <gasps> it should be ready in time. But we'd better get started right away. Yes! Come on, Elsie. OK, so we'll need cress seeds, some cotton wool to put the seeds on, and plant pots. Like this? Oh, we don't need anything as big as that. Yoghurt pots will be just fine. We had some yoghurt for breakfast this morning. Maybe there's some more in the fridge. Oh, and we'll need to keep the lids from the yoghurt. Um, why, Grandpa? Because I know a certain little bird who's very keen on cress seeds <laughs> for lunch. So we'll need to keep them out of harm's way. Oh, Pop. <laughs> Right, let's get started. I've got some seeds in the garage. And I'll ask Mum for some cotton wool. There you go. One pack of cress seeds. Yay! All right, off you go. Get cressing. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the garage. Thanks, Grandpa. One for you, one for me. But I'm not very hungry. Then there's no need to eat it, Elsie. I could do with some yoghurt for my mint sauce. <sighs> there you go. Two flower pots, all ready for planting. Thanks, Grandma. That was lucky. Plain yoghurt's not my favourite. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa said to put the cotton wool in the pots. Then we pour a little bit of water on the cotton. Then we add the seeds. There, all done. <laughs> Pork, those seeds are not for breakfast. We'd better put the lids on. Okay, seeds, now get growing. me a great idea. I'll be right back. Huh? Ta-da! <laughs> no peeking. It's a surprise. <gasps> <gasps> That's a great idea, Zoo. I'm going to paint my pot too. <laughs> Hello. What's so funny? Oh, I see we have company. Very nice to meet you, um... Mr, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Cress. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better make sure the paint doesn't get smudged. Why don't I put these pots by the window to dry? Good idea, Grandma. I'd better be getting home. See you later, Zoo. Bye, Elsie. Now, off you go and play, Zoo. I need the kitchen to make something myself. <laughs> hey, Pock, wanna play? Oh, all right. If you 
too tired. I'm playing my own. Strange haircut. Oh, it's all my fault. Grandpa warned us. We're supposed to have our nature project ready in two days. I'd better go and tell Elsie. Hi, Zoo. Come in. Oh, that's nice. What is it? Well, I'm making collages for an exhibition. Just one problem with collages, though. They get sticky. <coughs> Where are Mr and Mrs Cress? I thought you were coming over to show Mum. Oh, Puck ate the Cress. Oh, no. We'll never grow more in time. What do we do now? You don't have time to grow more Cress, but there'd be plenty of time to make a collage, like mine. Only more to do with plants and flowers. How do you mean, Mum? Well... Why don't you collect some leaves and flowers and seeds? Then you could stick them into a nice scrapbook. I used to love doing that when I was your age. That's a great idea. Brilliant. Hmm. Oh, at last. Oh. plants could we pick up? Um. <gasps> Thanks, Puck. There's just the thing we need for our scrapbook. I think Puck's trying to say he's sorry. <laughs> well, that's all right, Puck. I didn't know you read newspapers, Elsie. <laughs> I don't. I'm just pressing the flowers. Now, let's put this on top. There. All you need to do now is wait until your flowers are pressed and dried. They should be ready to stick in your book by the morning. Look, Sue, they're ready. <gasps> That's going to look great in our scrapbook. That's what I call a good job. It's even better than the ones I used to make. <laughs> I can't wait to show it to my family. <laughs> <laughs> and so much easier to take to school than a whole oak tree. <laughs> well done, Zoo. That's what I call a brilliant project. Still, it's a pity that Mr and Mrs Cress lost their hair. Yes, their heads will be cold. But I think I might have some hair restorer somewhere. Cress seeds! Ah, oh, thanks, Grandpa. Hang on, there are three packets here. We only need two. Oh, I see. The third packet is for pork. 
Ha, 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 ha.